There you go, folks. This is a, a house we've taken. What do you know? You've taken sort of cement render and all sorts of stuff off. You can see it here. Um, and this this house has got advancing lines of, of damp. You can see it here. It's supposedly rising damp. Um, and then that plaster has been taken off everywhere else on the external walls. You can see around here all the walls have been stripped off. Um, and they're pretty well bone dry now. Um, except where we've just taken this skirting off. Skirting off. And uh, that's uh, that bit of wall isn't able to breathe. And lo and behold, look, you can see Wally Damp Man's got his injection holes in here. And of course, these things actually stop rising damp, you know. Um, and this wall, if you look above it, is sopping wet. Uh, so the rising damp man didn't manage to stop the, the damp coming up. And you know what? It's only wet now behind the uh, the skirting. The rest of it, uh, the cement render has been taken off and the wall is nice and dry. And what we might do is just do a carbide sample just to confirm that. Um, and then the other thing we're going to look at is where the wall meets the floor and this is one of the, the main problems with dampness. Um, this is the floor slab and moisture from the floor slab is being pushed out sideways out here and into the base of the wall and what we need to do is probably just take out, I mean, somebody's actually filled in a gap here and we need to take this gap out and open it so we disconnect the slab from the wall and we have a little air gap here that allows moisture to get out and at that point the wall will stay dry and uh, if you look externally the ground level outside this wall here is away down below it and there's actually exposed brick down here on the outside which is bone dry